If you remember the Tobin's algorithm, this mean between the minimum and the maximum is the guess of the median. Okay, here it's a guess. So we are going to do a search by dichotomy. We evaluate if the median is above or below our guess and use this information to determine a new mean or a new max until we have exactly as many values above our guess than values that are below our guess. Okay, if I do have n values, I know that it will take less than log n iterations to find the median. So I will then use a fold while, a fold w iterator with a continuation condition to find the actual median. For the size of this fold while iterator, I will keep n for the moment. I know that n is strictly bigger than log n um, in the values considered that are uh, uh, strictly bigger than zero for n. Okay. So I'm going to create a guess operator okay on which i'm going to iterate here it is and this is going to be iterated on the fold while so i have one output which is the continuation condition and I have one input which is the act in and one output which is the act out. My continuation condition is of type bool, correct? In, in the act in, I will want to pass the current minimum and maximum value that have to be considered. Okay, and this mean and max, if you remember correctly, they are of type code t. And have a couple of them, the min and the max, so that's going to be an array of two cot t's, cot t hat two. Okay. So if I enter here, as long as this continuation condition I continue to iterate and I need to compute an egg out from my egg in and I also have the current value to consider, which is again of type code t. Okay. And this is going to be iterated over a fold w of size n we have set. Okay. Now in this guess operator, the first thing is to compute the guess by using the mean that we already have. Okay. So this act in contains the min and max. So I'm just going to compose it. I'm just going to use act in. So let's say the first element is the mean. And I said in. Okay, so that's going to be the mean and that's going to be the max. Okay, let's give them a name so it's easier to understand that the mean and that the max and also I will be able to reuse these values. Okay, and that goes into guess local variable that is of type quality again. Good. Okay, and then I need to count the number of values that are greater or smaller than this guess. Okay, um, here I will see if I look at V, actually, here I need the complete set of values, not only one. So I got my type wrong. It's actually the complete array that I want to guess to get. Of course, in order to be able to do that, I need to parameterize 
this guess operator by a size n and so I can use here coty hat n good so I want to count the number of values that are greater than my guess okay count greater than okay so it's going to be again something that I'm going to iterate over with a fold. So I will go through the whole set of values and for each value compare with the guess. If, if it's greater, I in increment my counter. And if it's not, I just keep the counter. So I have my act in, which is of type integer and my act out, which is also of type integer. Okay, and I have my value of type code t, and I have my guess, which needs to be, of course, of the same type code t. Okay, so basically, I'm counting the greatest, so if V is bigger than the guess. Uh, comparison. Then account is act in plus one. Oops, I keep it. Else, it's simply act in. Okay. So, to check, to count the number that are greater, I just need to apply the fold here. Take n. The initial value for my accumulator, I start my count at zero. V is simply V. And my guess is the value here. However, be careful, this needs to be of type cot hat n, and guess is only of type cot t. So what I will do is uh, we simply replicate n times that's well, going to be optimized by the code generator anyway so no big deal i can do that and this is going to produce a local val variable that is greater okay and this is of type integer and here i'm producing it Okay, good. I will have to redo exactly the same thing to count the number that are less than. So I simply copy and paste this one and I count the number that are lesser than. And here I just change the order. I can copy this, use this new operator and Have the number of values that are less than my guess. Good. In a very similar way, I need to find the values that are immediately below and above my guess. So I'm going to create an operator above. Okay. an act in, so this value needs to be of type code t because that's going to be one value presented in the array. I have an output act out of the same type code t. 
Oops. Okay, I have one input, which is the current value, and another output, which is my guess. Both of them are of type code key. So what I do want is if V is smaller than my guess and bigger than the ac in, then V becomes my new ac out. Otherwise, I'm just keeping the ac out. It's pretty simple choice. So we said that we want V smaller than I guess. I do have a small error here. Okay. Uh, no, above it's bigger than my guess. And at the same time, I want V to be smaller than the current value above, which is ac in. If I do have both, then v becomes the new value above. Otherwise, I'm just keeping the one I had before. Okay. So I will need something more or less similar to this one. It's again a fault on above. Just the initial value for the accumulator is going to be different and what is produced here is different. The initial value for the accumulator, I need one value in my V array. Let's take the first one. Okay, then it's V and then it's the guess. Okay. So that's going to be the value immediately above my guess. So let's call that min greater than guess. Okay, I want exactly the same one, but below. So I'm just going to copy this and pass it and that's going to be below okay and basically i want v to be smaller than guess but bigger than ac in okay so i just need to copy this below max lesser than guess that's of type could t in the other direction and here we are let's align all those good for the continuation condition here I need first to compute the half of the number of values in my array rounded up. That's pretty easy. I just take my value n here and add plus one to it and take the integer division by two, integer division, by two and that's going to be half it's an integer and I produce it here okay Okay, 
And then I know that I must break when I do have at the same time less that is smaller or equal than half and greater that is smaller or equal than half. Okay, so that's going to be my break condition. And smaller or equal than half. And greater, smaller or equal than half. Okay, but that's my break condition. What I need to produce here is a continue condition. So I simply take negation of this. Okay. Good. I also made a small mistake here. Here, I need to start with the max, actually, that I've been computing here. And here with the min. Okay. 